Signs are constantly upgrading. Businesses need customers, and eye-catching signs are how to get them. Bright colors, huge fonts, human labor, and most recently, flashing LED screens. For our project, we aim to present the next step of eye-catching display technology. An LED wall where each LED is individually programmable, which will allow for 3D effects. Each LED will be able to come out of the screen, much like this toy, and so the graphics will be able to come out and grab the attention of passerbys. Last year, the company Radius Displays Limited created a 3D LED sign for Coca-Cola, which was displayed in Times Square. Each panel is controlled by a robust actuator, resulting in the impressive effect that you see here. However, it comes at a cost that Coca-Cola is not willing to disclose, and on a scale that is not practical for most businesses. Our project is meant for the vast amount of companies that also want unique displays but may not have the same multi-million dollar budgets for advertisement. While doing our market research, we reached out to Radius Displays Limited and asked them if there was interest in the market for a smaller version of what they had created. We received a positive reply and therefore decided to move forward with our project idea. Our current prototype uses muscle wire as the actuator. Normally, muscle wire is used for projects trying to replicate real life movements. But muscle wire of only five thousandths of an inch diameter has the ability to lift half a pound. Its main limitation comes from the small contraction of the wire. Muscle wire contracts only 4% of its length. Therefore, in order to get an inch of travel, a lever arm must be used. The problem that comes from this is that, in order to keep the wire managed, a pulley system must be used. But right now, there's too much friction with our pulleys, which leads to the lever arm not being pulled down far enough. Also, the spring that is being used as a counterbalance may be too strong for the wire and may also be contributing towards the lever arm not being pulled down. Throughout the semester, our team has used an Arduino Uno to program our muscle wire. After further research, we will be using a Raspberry Pi. Our final project will be running multiple programs and running multiple tasks and calculations which is why Raspberry Pi fits more of our needs in Arduino. Our communications protocol will be an ArtNet protocol. This is a data distribution protocol that allows DMX sliding data to be transported over an Ethernet network. With this protocol, we will use an ArtNet node. This uses a Cat5 Ethernet cable. This cable sends information between our computer and node, and the node then converts that ArtNet signal to DMX, which sends the information out to all our LEDs. The way our ArtNet node and Raspberry Pi will be working together is through the use of an FTDI drivers. After installing this driver to the computer, both devices will be able to communicate together. Over winter break, we have some goals to accomplish as a team. First thing I need to get done is get a hold of an ArtNet node. After getting a hold of the ArtNet node, I will begin sending commands to LEDs. Danielle will figure out the incre incremental control of our muscle wire. Reviewing the parts list and having everything ready to order at the beginning of the semester will put us in a good spot. Deciding which of the three pixel mapping softwares we will be using is our last thing on our list.